Hi everyone, in today's video I wanted to talk a little bit about the three oils that I've been using non-stop for the last two weeks. Um, these oils are just, for me, um, great for balancing my energy, really grounding me at the moment. And yeah, I diffuse them every single day. So for those of you that don't know much about essential oils and aromatherapy, um, aromatherapy is the use of essential oils. So whether we're using them for physical benefits, emotional, spiritual, they really, really help. And I use them every single day. As you, as you can see, I have a, a big collection of them. Um, but I work with them every single day. And for me, I just absolutely loved, loved when I, I was doing it in college and I just fell in love with them. So that was about five years ago. And um, the last while I've been really speaking more about them, just because I really believe in them. Um, specifically emotionally, like they really, really help with your emotions. And um, the oils themselves are really, really potent oils that come from plants, trees, the barks of the tree. Um, and they're just so powerful. So the three oils that I will be talking about are marjoram, ylang ylang and bergamot. Ylang ylang, anyone who knows me is my absolute favourite. And I say that about a lot of them, but honestly, I use this one the most. It's really great for overthinkers. Like this is, this is the oil for you if you overanalyze everything, especially now if you're really, really panicking. It's great for stress. It's great for just, you know, um, bringing your body back into balance and, and allowing you to think more positively. So if you feel like you're kind of not thinking as positive as you usually would, this would be the oil for you. Um, it's also euphoric. So it gives you that feeling of happiness. It's, even if you've nothing to be happy about at the moment, like even just burning, this will kind of allow you to feel that euphoric um, feeling which is really nice. It's comforting. For me, it's really comforting. And it, it's, it's a cheerful oil. It just cheers you right up. Um, as, at the same time as being a sedative, so it relaxes you, but it also just gives you that uplifting feeling. Um, and it regulates the flow of adrenaline, which we release when we're really stressed. And that's what gives us all these side effects of stress, like fatigue, brain fog, um, poor digestion, this oil ylang ylang regulates the flow of adrenaline which is really good um, and that's going to allow us to feel less anger panic anxiety and um, which a lot of people are feeling at the moment but i would have used this well before the last couple of weeks anyway it's just my favorite oil ever and if i have clients coming in to me who are really just stressing over well to them it's nothing but logically nothing it's just that they just can't calm their mind and um, then i would get them to use this oil the second oil and not a lot of people know about this oil is marjoram it's um it's kind of sweet but it's grounding as well um it's amazing for emotional stress and that's what the tree oils really are for that i'm using today but um this one really it works with your heart chakra um, if that's what you're into energy wise it really works with your heart and it allows you to release grief and again anger and it just really helps with anxiety and stress it's such a good oil to use when you're feeling like like you can't think straight because you're so stressed and um, this will be the oil to use and um, it's warming so it warms the body um, sometimes when we're fatigued, um, we can just feel cold, like for no reason. I actually don't know why that is, but this oil is the one to warm your body. Now there are other ones that really help, like ginger, um, rosemary, like they would really help boost circulation as well and warm the body. Um, but for the balance of emotional stress and warming the body, this will be the one. So marjoram oil, um, and it's. It's nice as well at this time to use and burn, like I would burn these in my diffuser. I'll actually let you know in a, in a few minutes how I, how I use them. Um, I would burn marjoram if you're feeling a little bit lonely 
and we all do sometimes um so of course like and you know if you're going through a really tough time if you're stressed or suffering with depression no matter how many people are around you you can still feel lonely and this would be the oil that you could burn or should burn um if you're feeling like that it just gives you that sense of security and um you feel you would feel a lot less lonely again like i said it works with your heart so it's balancing the emotions um and just gives you that comfort and the last oil bergamot um it's a this is an uplifting one so the other two are kind of um really relaxing sedatives um bergamot would be more of an uplifting one but it can be at the same time so it's citrus oil and this would be great for people who suffer with depression as well um and it's really just like how would you even say it? it's just it smells really it gives you a lot of energy it smells uplifting but at the same time it's just really grounding for me anyway um and it's great uh digestive so you would never ever swallow essential oils but for me if i'm suffering with like excess flatulence which is how i react when i'm stressed like i do and most people would um or if you just have indigestion i would mix this with my oil pop it on my tummy i would never ingest it you're popping it directly on the skin and um, what when it's blended and then rubbing it in circular motions on the tummy and that helps with um digest digestion it's also great for dry skin so sometimes we can most people would suffer with who suffer with eczema when we're stressed and um, it does tend to flare up so eczema psoriasis and this would really help with that dry skin so again you have to mix it with your oil first or your base cream or even popping it in the bath and um, so that would be great for that and i should have actually explained first how to mix the oils and how to use them so you would never pop the essential oils directly on the skin um, with the exception of one or two so lavender can be used in small amounts if you have any burns um, it's great for healing the skin you would pop it on your skin in small amounts and tea tree so a lot of people would use tea tree oil um, for acne if you have if you suffer with spots even the odd time I would get hormonal spots on my face I would pop a little bit of tea tree on a cotton bud and then just dab it on the skin it doesn't smell great it's not relaxing but it really helps so they're the kind of two exceptional ones that you would pop on the skin and um, the rest of them have to be blended so i would use grapeseed oil coconut oil um sweet almond oil is great it's high in vitamin e and what for every 10 mils of oil you would use two drops of the essential oil so it's two drops for every 10, no sorry it's two drops for every five mils um i don't know where i was getting that from so two drops for every five mils so that would be four drops for per 10 mils sorry and you would always blend you would always do that first before you put the essential oils on the skin so for example if i was using these three oils together um in my skincare i would use so two drops of each so two for six drops in 15 that would be in 15 mils of oil so it's two drops per five mils so i'd have to use six drops in 15 mils of oil and um, that's the safest way to do it if you were using it if you were using the oils in your bath um you can use a lot more drops but you would have to mix them with an emulsifier first because if you put them directly into the bath they're not going to disperse properly you won't absorb it into your skin so i would always mix them with the likes of um castor soap is probably one of the better ones because you can get unscented you're better off using like natural unscented um when you're using essential oils because the chemicals will mix and that's not great for the skin um, so I would mix like five drops in a 10 ml of castor oil, castor soap. You can use an oil as well. Um, but the castor soap, like the Dr. Bonner's would be great to use for that, for the bath. Um, 
and the other ways that like so the way i would use these generally every day is diffusing them in my oil, oil burner so i have the electronic diffuser or you can also get i don't have it here i think it's downstairs actually sorry and my two diffusers are downstairs so the electronic one and um, that you can i get in river holistic center and there's also an oil burner where you pop your candle underneath and then you have the little bowl on top um, you put the water in the bowl first and then you put like four or five drops of the essential oil on top and the heat off the candle actually diffuses that into the air. Uh, I think most people would know about those ones or have seen one before. Um, I would use those two every day to diffuse my essential oils. So I have one in, I actually have two diffusers. So I have one in my bedroom, one downstairs and then I use my uh, I always move, move the candle one around wherever in the bathroom or in the kitchen depending and um, that's how I would diffuse the oils you can use them in your bath you can use them in your skincare and the odd time like if I just like if I have a towel drying on the rod like I'll just pop one or two drops on the towel just to kind of when the heat's on then that diffuses in the whole house as well and it smells really nice there's loads of different ways you can use them but they are my three that I'm using at the moment. Um, the only precautions you have to take with the oils is, of course, if you have like any underlying health issues, you would have to just be mindful of that and maybe ask your doctor. Um, with the marjoram, it's an amenagogue, so that can bring on your period. So that's good for people with um, unbalanced periods. Um, but if obviously if you're trying to conceive or you are pregnant do not use these and um, it can bring on your period um, and with the bergamo then as well that it would react with the sun and the uv rays and um, so it causes photosensitivity so you have to be careful even like in the winter or, or spring if it's not that sunny you can still um get sun damage so you have to be careful with that you wouldn't wear it on the face um, or if you have your arms or anything out, you wouldn't use that. And the Ylang Ylang then, um, it's it's safe. It depends. I mean, uh, anyone, like I even react to some oils. I always react to grapefruit, so I don't use it. So always do a little patch test first. If you have, if you are using it on the skin, um, do a patch test first. But with Ylang Ylang, it's quite safe. It, it can cause nausea if you use it in large amounts and it can cause headaches. Um, so use that in small amounts as well. I'd never use more than four drops of Ylang Ylang. Well, sometimes I have used more, but that's just because I love essential oils. <laughs> but in general, don't use more than four drops. Um, and I think that's it. If there's any questions or I've, I'm sure I've left something out, let me know. But they're my top three oils at the moment um, that's going to get you through this kind of panic and frustration and loneliness of being inside and giving you a boost as well with the bergamot. So if you can burn those three, um, you can get them. I will actually tag, I I get them in River Holistic Centre, but Claire stocks them in from Ogam Oils, um, who you can buy from online as well. And they're an Irish based company which is great. So I will leave it there. If you have any questions, let me know. And I look forward to hearing from you. Thank you.